Ireland is the third richest country in the world, with a GDP per capita of over $100,000 a year. But how did this small island manage to unseat economic giants like the United States or Germany, for example? Brainbox reveals three reasons behind it, including one that all countries should urgently take as a reference. The first one is related to the other nations of the world, as Ireland has a large share of foreign investment in its country, as well as belonging to an important grouping that we will soon tell you about. It turns out that until the 1950s, Ireland was one of the poorest countries in Europe. It was almost entirely dependent on agriculture, and most of its labor force were farmers in a precarious situation. After a series of economic reforms that didn't work well, the country fully opened up to the free market in 1957, accepting foreign investment, signing free trade agreements and selling off some of its nationalized companies to the private sector, in addition to offering tax incentives and other benefits for those who wanted to invest in the country. On the other hand, Ireland is the only country of the British Isles to be part of the European Union and use the euro as its official coin, which has opened great doors for them to facilitate trade and foreign investment. This has made it one of the best countries in Europe to start a business, as its corporate tax rate is only 12.5%. This explains why tech giants like Facebook, Google, Twitter or Intel have headquarters there. However, the third reason is the most important and all of us should keep it in mind. Want Brainbox to tell you more? It's simple. Ireland's workforce today is highly educated, and the country trains highly skilled professionals to perform all kinds of jobs. The focus there is on developing people's practical skills and improving their potential for innovation so that students finish their careers with a high level of knowledge associated to technology, engineering and science. In fact, according to the OECD, 85% of Irish 25 to 64 years old have successfully completed upper secondary education, known in other countries as the baccalaureate. This practice, encouraged by the Irish government's substantial subsidy to education, has led to a number of corporate giants setting up in Ireland to take advantage of this skilled workforce. So Brainbox recommends that as soon as you have some money, you go immediately to Ireland. <laughs>